Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Playwright tutorial, we are going to understand how you can install Playwright using the VS Code extension. Okay, so on the same page of the installation, you will see that we have the VS Code extension. Okay, so you can go ahead and click on this link and it will redirect you to the getting started with the VS Code. Now, before we go ahead and get started with the VS Code extension, we will create a folder wherein all our dependencies, all the Playwright library and the structure will get created right so previously we had done this by the vs code directly from the user interface of the vs code we get went to the file and then we went to open folder and then we created a new folder here okay now let me create a new folder uh, with a different way basically now here i'll go ahead in the on the desktop or wherever you want to create this folder i'll say right click and create a new folder this is my project folder where all the playwright test cases will be written with vs code so basically this is installation with vs code so i'll be creating another project okay so i'll say play play right and then vs code automation okay just to segregate that this is the project which we where which we installed using the vs code extension of the playwright okay now we will go ahead and we'll open this folder so steps are same so i'll go to file and then go to open folder okay and then we'll select the playwright vs code automation we'll simply open it and you will see that we are in the folder all right now how we can go ahead and install the playwright using the vs code extension so from the visual studio code you have this option here so extensions okay and i'll go to the extensions and then you can search for the extensions here okay so as soon as i say playwright you will see that it will search for all the playwright extensions that are available and this is the first one basically play, playwright test for vs code right so this is basically what we have to choose and this is from microsoft right so my playwright is the tool from microsoft it's an open source so we'll simply go ahead and click it and you will see that we have the install button okay simply click on install and let the extension finish the installation okay so now the installation has been done you can see that uninstall is available here okay so what next so let's go to the documentation what they say so now you will see that there is a video already on it but then we are creating this whole end-to-end -end course so i have covered this as well so if you have any confusion where to create folder etc all of that is covered um, but here there is a the, there's a bit of disconnect that i saw and it could be my perspective but then yes i have covered everything that is required for you so here you will see that once it is installed then you simply open the command panel okay open the command panel and type install playwright so how will you open the command panel so we'll go to the vs code okay and then from here you simply go to the menu here all right go to view and you'll see command palette the shortcut on windows is Control shift p okay so i'll say Control shift p and then you will see this command palette open so what we have to type we have to type in install playwright right in the command panel so we'll go back Control shift p and we'll say install playwright okay and you select this test install playwright and then it will automatically select all the browser that you need to install right so all of those are automatically selected and then if you want to use javascript which we want right so we by, typescript is by default so if i don't select this by default it will install typescript okay or basically it will install everything for the typescript but i want to use javascript so i have to select use javascript okay and then all of these are selected we simply go ahead and click okay and then you will see the installation will start you will see internally it is basically doing the same thing right so npm init playwright latest and the commands that we have fired through the command prompt it is basically doing exactly same thing right so you'll see that it is now installing playwright and on the command prompt you can see but now we what we have done we have done everything from the vs code extension okay so you'll see that we have got this happy hacking okay and now the playwright has been installed so if you go to the project explorer now you will see that in this folder we have all the node modules okay all the dependencies here tests the example tests right and all the files that we have seen previously when we did the command line installation exactly same structure has been created here and this time using the vs code extension installation process okay so now if say for example i go this is the test right so this is the test and so this is the sample uh, test that got created and because we have selected the javascript right so you'll see that now the project is selecting or basically chosen the javascript language right all the files are javascript and not the 
TypeScript. TypeScript ends with a dot TS and JavaScript ends with dots. Okay, so the next thing is basically if you go to the left hand side, you will see the testing icon here. Okay, and in the testing icon, you will be able to see what all tests are there. Okay, also in the project explorer, if you want go to the tests here and you will see that because we have the plugin or the extension installed, you will see this run test, right? If you right click, you will see that we can see run tests and it will run the test, whatever test that has been added here. Okay. And this is the first test. Basically, this is the test that comes out of the box just to play around and execute the test and see how it all works. So you can execute the test by simply clicking on this icon here and you'll see that in the console, the test execution has started and you will see test results. Okay. So you'll see one test using one worker and all the details are betting. Uh, are getting logged here it's running on chromium and you will see the browser is not getting launched okay so by default the execution will happen in the headless mode and browser is not will not get launched okay you'll see one path and as soon as the test execution will complete you will see two folders here so test results okay so you'll see that we have the test results and the report so there will be a report which will be a html report that gets automatically generated and that's the very good advantage of it right basically you'll see that we'll see any results or report getting generated automatically in the folders that are configured here now from the testing icon here or the section here you can you see that there is a show browser option here so if i go ahead and check this and execute this test again now this time you will see in the drop down i'll see different option so at the moment chromium is the default but if you want to execute on some other browsers you can basically go ahead and select a different profile to execute this same particular test so i'll say execute it on the firefox so it will launch the test and this time browser will be shown and execution will happen on the opened browser okay so you'll see the test is running and this time it should actually open the browser and execute the test and it has launched the browser firefox browser you can see and has opened it has opened the website playwright.dev and then doing the step of the test case and then finish the test okay so you'll see that it has actually executed and the test has been passed okay so this is basic uh, of all the details here basically in case you are installing it from the extension you will be able to execute the test case directly through the extension once the extension is there you can uh, see the execution details or basically the icons to execute your test and you will see that if the test case passed automatically it will be updated that is why vs code is visual studio code is recommended to go ahead and start the playwright uh, automation because it's very tightly coupled and has a lot of good features and extensions that will be really really helpful as we progress with this particular course okay so that's all for this particular video of installation of the playwright using vs code extension i hope this was helpful thank you very much for watching